Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this kind of a high tech glitchy text animation inside of After Effects without using a single plugin. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp 1920 into 1080 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more new comp, which is going to be a text placeholder. I will be using two different text composition for this particular animation. So let's call this text underscore 01 and let's select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want i'm going to type in motion all right for the font i'm using integral cf i have the complete project file link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it so with this font is looking good size is set to 200 pixels and yeah that's nice let's go into effects and presets and let's add some color so I will be using a gradient ramp to add a really nice and interesting gradient look to this instead of using flat colors. Going to make this a nice yellow and this one to a nice orange. So we have this very nice look. Then let's go back and duplicate this. So hit control D to duplicate it. So now we have text two. Let's open that up and type in a different text. So I'm going to type in motion design. And for the color of this one, I'm going to set this to a nice uh, blue color. So that is looking pretty nice. Now let's go back into our main render comp and drag and drop in the text one and text two composition right over here. Let's hide the text two for now. Select the text one, go into effects and preset and search for card wipe, which is a really cool effect. And there are a number of different things that you can do with this particular effect. It, it has some really nice possibilities here. So first we have the transition completion. So I can animate this effect from zero to hundred like that. Now what I want here is when we do the transition to hundred, I want this to switch to the second text. So I'm going to set the back layer of this one to text two. And now if I animate the transition completion, you can see our text switches from motion to design pretty cool and simple right now there are a lot of different properties to play around with here so i can increase the rows so let's set this to 20 and set this to 30 or something and now if i animate this you can see we have a different look but we're not done here so let's go ahead and first of all create a transition completion animation so at the very start of this composition i'm gonna set this to zero create a keyframe on transition completion go to three seconds and set this to 100 all right so now as you can see we have a simple animation animating from motion to design that is from first text to the second text so now let's make this a bit more cooler so the first thing that you can do to make it right off the bat look much more cooler is that change the timing randomness so right now it's set to zero i can set this to 0.5 and now if i preview this you can see we have this really cool look and obviously you can play around with the columns i can increase it i can bring that down you know to make it look a bit more boxy like that or i can increase them really high and make them look like a small particles or something which looks kind of like a glitch but i think 20 by 20 looks pretty fine as of now then we have a couple of options here like the flip axis so i can set this to y and this is gonna give us rotation in the y axis which looks pretty cool as well but i like to go with x for now and then we have random seed so in case if you don't like the look you can play around with the random seed to you know get a different look i think i'm going to set this to zero for now the next thing that we will be taking a look at is the position jitter so if i increase the x jitter amount you can see right off the bat the text starts to get a bit displaced in the x position then i can also do that with the y amount 
and I can also do that with the Z amount. So now you can see we have a really weird look. So let's animate the jitter. So I'm going to go at the center of these two keyframes that is one second and 15 frames. Create a keyframe on the X jitter, Y jitter and the Z jitter. I'm going to I'm just going to leave the jitter speed to one. You can obviously change that as well. Let's go at the very start and set all these three properties to zero. Hit U so we can see the keyframes. I'll go at three seconds again and copy this keyframe. Hit Control C and hit Control V to paste them. So now if I preview this, you can see we have this really interesting look. So let's select all the keyframes. You can hit F9 or keyframe assistant, easy ease them. So we have a much more smoother animation. So this is the base of our animation and it's looking pretty cool. Now you can do a number of different things. For example, you can duplicate this. So hit control D to duplicate it, select this and um, I'll go right here maybe and change the amount. I can increase it or I can decrease it like that. And obviously give it a different color. So I'll go to effects and preset. You can add a gradient ramp or you can add a fill. So now for preview this to give you guys an idea, we have much more detail into our text, which looks pretty cool. So for now, I'm just going to leave it at kind of a grayish color, which is going to add a bit more depth into the scene, I think. So let's preview this. Let's see what we get. I think it's looking pretty cool. Now, when I'm working, I also like to listen to audiobooks in the background, which helps me to be focused and motivated. And if you guys wish to treat yourself with some daily dose of motivation, then you should definitely check out Cuckoo FM. Their audio library is as creative as their name. Cuckoo FM is India's leading audiobook platform with over 1000 plus hours of book summaries and more. They have audiobooks and book summaries of some of the best selling books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, change your schedule, change your life, the design of everyday things and more. And you can listen to them not just in English, but any other regional language that you prefer. Usually the subscription is just rupees 399 for a complete year. And if you use my coupon code DMO50, you will get a flat 50% off, which is just 199 per year, which is only for the first 250 people who use this coupon code. So hurry up. Link is in the description below. So now let's select all these layers, hit Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose it and let's call this edges. Duplicate this, hit Ctrl D, select the first one, go into effects and preset and search for an effect called fine edges. Let's apply this, then set this to invert and change the blending mode of this layer to screen. This adds a very nice look to our complete animation, which looks pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is move this forward by around five frames just to get a really complex look, which I think really, which I think looks pretty good. I can also maybe turn off this one. Let's see the look. I think this looks much better as this fine edges uses the color from the text. So that is looking much better. And, and now what I'm going to do is go right here. All right, let's animate the opacity of this. So let's actually set this back to where it was. Go at one second and 15 frames, select this, hit T, create a keyframe, go back, set this to zero, and then go to three seconds and just copy this keyframe. Hit Control C, Control V, select it. You can hit F9, keyframe assistant, easy ease them, and then move by five frames. So now this is going to add a layer of complexity to our animation, as you can see. We have this nice detail of lines, which looks pretty cool and high tech, I think. Okay, so that is looking pretty good, but we are not done yet. Let's also add some nice RGB to this. So select these two composition, hit Control Shift C to pre-compose it again, call this RGB and hit OK. Go into effects and preset and search for shift channels. Double click to apply that. Turn off the green and the blue channel and set the blending mode of this layer to screen, duplicate this, hit Ctrl D, select the second layer, set the red to full off and turn on the green channel, duplicate this again, hit Ctrl D and turn on the blue channel and turn off the green channel. 
and then move or displace them by two frames just like so and now if i go right here and preview this you can see we get this really cool rgb look which i personally like pretty damn cool so you can also go ahead and add some nice glow to this you know hit ctrl y and create a new solid called this bg make sure it's black put this at the back and also make sure you're working in 16 bits per channel so hold alt and click on this to switch to 16 bits create a new adjustment layer call this cc and going to fix and preset add some nice glow to this you can use deep glow plugin if you have that it's a pretty awesome plugin by the way you should definitely check that out and let's increase the radius like that and bring down the glow intensity i think it's a bit too much and finally i will add some noise just to avoid any kind of uh, color bendings so there we go uncheck these two boxes and set this to around two percent and yeah that is looking pretty nice so there we have a very high text text animation inside of after effects kind of a cyberpunk style you can call it i don't really know what to call this effect but i think it looks more like a high tech cyberpunk look Anyways, tell me what you think about this effect in the description below and what should we name it. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. You can also follow us on Instagram at dope.motion. And if you are feeling generous and want to support this channel, you should definitely check out our Patreon page. Link to everything is in the description below. With that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.